Hello folks and welcome to another Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Um, we will see what's going to happen as mentioned just a few minutes ago. Um, today could be very exciting just because of the ECB decision and about their interest rates. Um, we will see how, how it's going to work uh, to be honest because in my opinion Many are expecting that's going to uh, push up the euro uh, just because of the interest rate. Uh, the problem we have here in, in Europe, and Lagarde said this, I mean, <laughs> I'm absolutely not a friend of Lagarde, but if you know a little bit the um, structural problems we have in, in certain countries, for example, um, just to take Spain or Italy, but Spain mostly, because at least Italy have a huge ratio in, in um, savings in private high, um, uh, households. So they, they, they have big money. And that's a big difference, for example, in Spain, where many people have um, long-term mortgages, for example, with flexible interests. So it's not fixed if the interest rates goes up it's clear what the banks are going to do next and that's going to increase and to rise the pressure in these I will tell them bubbles they have created a lot of bubbles we have a mortgage bubble in Europe and different also in Germany to be honest but um, in Spain and the South European countries we has a construction bubble still yeah, after after the last mortgage crisis we had with a big impact to Europe, we <laughs> we didn't change at all. So um, the the debt ratio in in private households is very high in certain South European countries, um, maybe even in the north, um, but I I think much more in the south. So. Um, the ECB was struggling to raise the interest rates also because of that. So is that bullish for Euro if the European, the South European country starts to fall? I don't think so. And now we need to see how the market actors are going to interpret and yeah, to trade actually uh, the interest rate hike or interest rate, rate um, rise by the ECB. We don't know if it's going to be 50 BPS, 20, 25 BPS, I don't know, I really don't know, but that's something we should have in mind. And in my opinion, um, it can have exactly the opposite effect. Because many knows exactly that's not bullish at all for the Euro. If your European members are shifting to big trouble that's absolutely not bullish for the euro but of course the ecb has to react just because of a rising inflation so they have to do something but that's also why lagarde said just a few months ago why they don't want to rise the interest rates now they need to but they also know that will have some consequences. And that's also why Germany has sold some bonds and shifted that money to South European countries. Uh, they mentioned that just a few weeks ago. I don't know if I retweeted it, I have to check. But it's not that easy. It's not just black and white and that's it. You know, it's uh, a little bit more complex. And another topic, um, it's it's really it makes me sad, is to see their reaction to the new, to the announcement that um, Tesla sold 75% of their uh, Bitcoin portfolio. I remember when they announced to buy, they celebrated Tesla like you know I'm going to buy Tesla. I have ordered three Tesla trucks. They said on Twitter. Everyone was extremely bullish on, tes on, on Tesla. Of course, always Elon Musk. Elon Musk bought all Tesla Bitcoins, Elon Musk. So, but 
um, if you are a little bit engaged um, in a big company and you know how that works, that's a process. And even if you are the owner of the company, of course you can say, I would like to sell the bitcoins. But you know, you have usually a CFO, you have different actors in the management stage, they will tell you maybe mm, that's not a good idea. So when a company is going to reduce its portfolio, it's because they have, they need that. Otherwise they wouldn't sell that in loss, just to make it clear. And we need, in my opinion, to make uh, a difference between Elon Musk and Tesla. They said they reduced by 75% the Bitcoin portfolio but they didn't say Elon Musk sold his private portfolio. Now everyone I'm seeing a lot of tweets and that that makes me sad and sick at the same time because I see that's the real face of the crypto community. They love you if you are in their favor but they hate you if you are not. And that's something I don't like at all. Absolutely not. Just think about. But um, that's really, that's not good. In my opinion, that's absolutely not good. If someone is going to sell its Bitcoins, it's okay. If you think Bitcoin is the future, it's going to m go 1 million, then I mean, Michael Saylor told to you just a few months ago or one year ago or something, make a mortgage, sell your house, sell your car, go all in Bitcoin, but shut up. That's the only thing. Just shut up. Don't blame other people just because they reduce or whatever, because in my opinion, that's absolutely not fair. Okay, take it or leave it. However, let us go forward and check what's happening here. So, we will see. I mean, well, um, at the moment I wasn't that wrong with 24,000. We went down, but I'm not sure if that's going to hold um, a lot. I mean, they are right now um, taking profit, um, but distributing. Um, at least we can see what's happening here to Binance, for example, if we go um, here, we can see that as well. That's um, Binance bot. And uh, we need to um, be careful here right now. Okay, so I have said that could be a correction and we can go even more up. Uh, we are right now, we had a retest of our trend line here. That's something you know, uh, I show you what trend line that is just before we go to the weights ratio. Oh, my mouse. And that's something we are now below that could be a deviation. And um, we are right now retesting here a support at 22,300. Um, or we retested. Uh, in my opinion, if we break this um, support and we make a retest and we fail to go up again, in my opinion, we will go down again, hitting 19. And then we need to see what's going to happen. But, you know, we need to see. Um, however, we will start checking what's happening related to the metrics. And then we will hopefully know a little little bit more. As you know, I'm not trading that. So let us go further and check what's happening here. The wealth ratio 30 days moving average declined once again. This time it looks a little bit more solid than before, indicating the whole uh, preparation is done. That's usually what it indicates. And that's at least my interpretation because that's what did every time afterwards. Every time after the wage ratio lifted up a lot and then started to decline, um, we just spent some few days more and then the price started to decline. So that would be my expectations 
even if we don't drop today we go up maybe to 25 afterwards something I still have my doubts but in case of in my opinion we should dump afterwards and this time in my opinion very big however the waste ratio you know lifted up we can see it lifted up yesterday but it wasn't really big so in the average it declined and that's why the 30 days moving average is declining here however it's showing us that even yesterday we received more bitcoins by whales if we go further we can see here the 30 hours moving average and the 30 hours moving average as you know was lifting up declined and it's lifting up again so the trend is positive we are above of 90 that's really big and you see what they did and that's what they are doing all the time letting the price go up go up go up and afterwards distributing right now we are distributing and we can see that of course so everything um, yeah absolutely under control as usual um, if we check the stablecoin reserves on exchanges it's declining declining well, very well I mean uh, declined by a half billion 500 millions and at the same time we can see here that the stablecoin supply is lifting up but not big absolutely not big we are talking here about 200 million or something in the last week in one week so that's it let us go further and check what's happening to the flow activities so taking into account what's happening here we can see that we have here today we received well I mean that was the market maker I know that I tracked him 3000 bitcoins uh, 1000 bitcoins uh, so 4,000 at the same time outflows 3,500 so it while they are distributing someone else is buying as usual that's something people are saying but look they are buying yeah but look they are selling so that's the market the market is in exchange between buyers and sellers if you don't have any sellers and only buyers up only if you don't have any buyers and only sellers down only both it's not going to work that's not a market a market always works if you have buyers and sellers at the same time the only way why a price is going to lift up it's because the volume Delta because you always have a Delta between buyers and sellers if the buyers are rising it's clear the price goes up if the sellers are rising it's clear the price has to decline that's the whole key and that's why demand and supply is the key of every market it doesn't matter what it is if that's uh, you know every market works like so we need to see what's happening here to be honest we don't know how much they accumulated we know and that's why I tweeted that um, today I have tweeted the um, exchange reserves related to bitcoins and the exchange reserves if we check the exchange reserves we can see that almost every big um, exchange is showing rising reserves Bitcoin reserves usually if we detect such rising in exchange reserves that means that people traders are sending their bitcoins to the exchanges to distribute afterwards um, but we have exchanges like Binance for example they provide spot trading but also der derivative trading so uh, you know with derivatives you can place shorts and longs so you can be bullish or bearish at the same time when you are sending your bitcoins to a spot exchange it doesn't mean you you can convert that in an, another asset like Ethereum but you know it's almost bearish so um, and that's why I did this tweet today indicating for example Binance exchange reserves lifted up by 83,000 83, bitcoins since mid of June since almost we arrived to 
you know, that range between 18 and 23 now, 24. That's crazy. That's really crazy. Um, the only one that's accurate to see if it's bullish or bearish, it's Coinbase. Because Coinbase only provides spot trades and don't provide any derivative um, trades. So they received since end of June until now 28,000 Bitcoins. Means that's bearish. Okay. Um, even with um, derivative exchanges, and that's why I did a little analysis, every time when derivative exchanges received a lot of Bitcoins to their reserves, afterwards the price dumped. Usually that means Mm, they are hatching so at least that's my interpretation because every time when derivative exchanges rise a lot and I'm talking about a lot 100,000 bitcoins, 50,000 bitcoins, 60,000 bitcoins afterwards the price dumped at least since February 2021 so we have some references in context at the moment that's happening so um and and in, in may for example uh they received almost let me see almost 100,000 bitcoins uh what happens afterwards we dump from 40 to almost 20 and since mid of june uh it's happening again so derivative exchanges receiving a lot of bitcoins but the price is going up at the moment so we need to see if that's going to be an accurate indicator once again and the price is going to dump because many are expecting exactly the opposite many are expecting to go up to 28 30 40 50 i'm reading even new all-time highs for 2022 <laughs> what should i say um i should check twitter less because um i'm not free of fomo to be honest so um i need to be you know if you are reading a lot of twitter you will always see and at the moment every almost not every but we know carl moon crypto mm all these guys um, are pushing up and I don't know they are triggering always a chain reaction so the 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 in my opinion the crypto community is flipping again to bullish also we will take a look even on Binance the longs are coming up while the shorts maintains but however and sometimes I see even I'm convinced the price is for example going down after you are reading all the time, all the time, all the time, like, you know, like a brainwashing process, we will go up, we will go up, we will go up, uh, 26, 28, 30. That has, if not directly, but indirectly, an effect. And sometimes I see and I feel that um, also in, 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 yeah, in inspo. That's something I, I really need to read less Twitter and to check more the data and to analyze more the market, but really just less community, less Twitter and more facts. I think that's the main, main point. Um, and yeah, because, you know, also in the past I have that. Uh, I was convinced we will go down and then you read so many bullish things and then you are starting to struggle. Oh, maybe I should reduce my short and whatever. And afterwards we dumped because the facts are in the data, not what people say. Many analysts out there, many things are experts. I'm not an expert. I'm just a dude spending a lot of time analyzing the market and interpreting it with my experience what I collected you know in 
in different years so yeah we need to see uh, what happens next sorry I was <laughs> I'm just reading here Eurozone ECB interest rates 50 best approved transmission protection Okay, so 50 BPS, we will see how the markets react then. So, let us see. Uh, sometimes I need to stop my record because <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for a package um, by uh, DHL. So, sometimes I need to break before um, someone is bailing on at the door. However, um, funding rate lifting up indicating they are demanding more longs open interest declined is lifting up a little bit and leverage ratio weights uh, wave formation so nothing big happening here just indicating uh, they are the aggregated funding rate is indicating they are demanding more longs at the same time we can see people or some are taking profit that's big uh, let us check how big the volume almost 380 million so, so that's really big the question is if they were um, shorting because if we check the funding rate here if we check for example here we received a lot of stable coins here afterwards the funding rate was lifting up now taking profit and now the funding rate is lifting up uh, sorry funding rate was declining now it's lifting up so not sure if that's the correlation we need to be very careful also with bitcoins check that taking profit taking profit taking profit they are withdrawing it and that could be a sign of reversal so from bullish to bearish but also here i don't really know because we know that the aggregated cbd related to um, to bitcoins and derivatives was extremely negative in my opinion hatching but however 8600 bitcoins withdraw here 7700 bitcoins withdraw here and right now almost 4000 bitcoins so that's really a big let us go forward and check what's happening here So, takes a little bit. Okay. If we check what's happening here, for example, we can see that shots are still leading, but longs are coming. So, we still have a, 50, a 48 to 52 uh, long short ratio, but in my opinion, that's absolutely fine. Even in my opinion, we still have too many shots too many shots of course i don't care about bitphoenix bitmix just because of their volume and yeah looks um, not well similar at least 47 to 53 so 50 yeah 47 to 53 still too many shots in my opinion and that's one thing that makes me a little bit bullish uh, short term and uh, to be honest because you know the markets loves to re to react and we know that even exchanges for them it's uh, an alternative income just to react um, yeah long shots just to scalp futures and we need to see so Binance, let us check here what they are showing. Well, well, well the, that's that's so crazy. Nothing changed since yesterday. So a little bit more shorts here, but pff, a lot of yeah. I I still don't know how they calculate in these bars to be honest, but. Well, that's really big. Let us check FTX, and I guess it's exactly the same. So 
So I see they are liquidating shorts in Ethereum, Bitcoin. Yeah. Well, so we'll see. Uh, it's the same. It's exactly the same. I don't know how that works, but it's exactly the same. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So we know usually uh, the market should go in that direction because even if that's FTX, look that, 350 million. <laughs> that's crazy. We did 300 million one bar at 20,000. And in year. 230 millions uh, that, that, that's just crazy usually the market should then at least based on the liquidation map should go in that direction and not in that direction but you know we will see however let us go further and check the options for today So what we see at the moment is you hopefully can see that. Let me make maybe change the color a little bit. Yeah. That we are going to retest right now that trend line here at almost twenty two eight hundred, twenty two nine hundred. Uh it looks like they want to push the price more down to be honest and uh, that's how it looks like it's it looks very very nice how the retest it's looking like so let the price dump afterwards to have the break lift up retest and we need to see if it's going to go up or it's going to um, you know to fail the retest means we got rejected here and afterwards the price dumps so that's something we need to see next. However, let us go and check what's happening here. So we see, for example, that it's at 30 minutes. FTX was distributing, but didn't distribute everything. Um, the aggregated you can see l lifted even more up and it makes such kind of yeah you know just um, declined distributed almost 5000 in cumulative volume delta and it's lifting up again indicating they are buying so that that works very fine with what we are seeing right here However, I need to see what's happening here first. Um, also interesting, well, I mean, if we zoom out a little bit, you know, that's also something that doesn't look, that's why I said be careful. We don't need, it's not just, you know, if, if we see that like here, that if the X, it's it's still it's not distributing everything. We need to see. I know we know how FTX can play. Maybe they are accumulating quick to dump afterwards very hard, like also Binance did in the past. Aggregated, as mentioned, didn't they reduced it seems by five thousand, but that's not a lot. At the same time, Bitcoin collateral futures declining, stabilizing at the moment, but declining would actually confirm a little bit my idea of hatching so if the price is now going down they don't need to short even more but you know and stablecoin futures lifting up we know that's the main point always related to uh, futures if you check what's happening here coinbase um, declined as you see let us go and check the 30 minutes. S 
so if we check for example here as well uh, looks very interesting because uh, I would say Coinbase is here the main driver at the moment <laughs> look there that looks very accurate to be honest very accurate Binance bot also doing exactly the same like Coinbase wow Not the same volume, of course, but it's crazy. So let us see what Bitfinex is doing. Also here, a had here big volume, but on Bitfinex, big volume means same 100 Bitcoin. Um, not distributing at all. And if we check here, right now we can see the funding rate declined lifted up afterwards again so it's also very interesting and something we should have in mind so the funding rate was lifting up then they shorted and now they are longing again so be very careful because otherwise that would show us that's just a correction and we will go up afterwards again so if we take a look right now here as mentioned um, 2400 bitcoins from the mm entity m1400 bitcoins here if we check now what's happening here related to the different entities Entity number one, my lovely MM entity not accumulating at all. It lifted up to 4,990,000 bitcoins, its balances, and it reduced again by 10,000. It's now again at 4,980,000. If we check here, these guys are buying at the moment, or it's at least they are uh, lifting up and balances. Um, they are not doing anything. They declined a little bit in balances. Um, they stabilized, also not uh, accumulating at the moment. And these guys even declining. So retailers declining a little bit. We need to see if that's the start, but I don't think so. Uh, we can see now, if we check, for example, here, that we see that the balances are neutral again. Why? Well. You remember all these transactions we have noticing or we we noticed uh, heading to Coinbase. Um, Key, the CEO and owner of CryptoQuant, did yesterday a nice statement. And he was explaining that um, these this, the label of Coinbase on whale alerts but also on BitInfo charts are wrong. And he was explaining that it's mainly Gimini. If that's Gimini, um, he, he isn't sure. He mentioned that he thinks that's an internal operation. You remember those 130,000 bitcoins, many uh, called this wallet MIG, and nobody knows exactly who is behind. I did one analysis about the trade behavior and it was looking really accurate, um, indicating uh, they are selling the tops and buying the bottoms. Well, that's usually something what an exchange don't do. Um, an exchange is receiving bitcoins, for example, from sellers when they are uh, they want to sell, but not buying. So um, I'm with him that these bitcoins went to Gimini, but I'm not sure. So the receiver, it seems it's a Gimini wallet, but I'm not sure if the sender is also a Gimini wallet. And he didn't mention he's 100% sure that's a Gimini wallet. So we need to be very careful. At least we can say it's not Coinbase, it's not Arkex, it's Gimini. I have checked Gimini's uh, reserves 
exchange research and that was actually also part of mm, today's um, analysis let us check because that's Huobi and Gimini and Gimini just lifted up by 9000 bitcoins so usually I would say if someone from outside is sending to give me 100,000 bitcoins, it should appear here. But now we have a big challenge. First of all, I don't know if CryptoQuant is labeling the new wallet to Gimini, for example. If not, it's not going to appear here, of course, because it's not part of CryptoQuant's data. So it's a big challenge and I would be very careful um, it's good to know if he mentioned why he thinks that's Gimini and that maybe would make sense, but we need to be very careful. Absolutely very careful. So that's it. Let us go further. So let us go to Coinbase first. Coinbase is limiting at the moment here the way at 24, 5 and 25. Usually also here even at 23, 6 or 7. Usually that's indicating they don't want to let the price go up more. Instead they want to buy maybe even more the dip. So they distribute it here um, and they want to buy maybe in lower ranges, something we need to see. At the moment the walls are there and we need to track them if they are going to take them out. At the moment the next bigger wall to the downside would be at 20k. Deribit, that's actually deribit but futures as well 24 limiting at 24 and limiting at 22 400 and look that I mean we are talking about some millions waiting there also below 22k Bitstamp Bitstamp the only one 26 bitcoins uh, at 24.5 and that's it nothing big Binance Spot Something that I don't like to see, at least if I would be bullish, is one, two, three, four walls and removed this wall. So the next area would be at 21k or here somewhere at 19. 100, 200, 200, 100, so almost on the way up. And of course the biggest one at 28k, uh, they reduce the volume at 30k. So here's something not really useful, but that's really interesting why they remove this wall. Usually that's an invitation like you can go down afterwards, but Bitfinex spot. We have here above of 26 and then the next one would be 20 again. So also here nothing big. FTX perp. Look that. <laughs> That's crazy. Look that. All I mean, wow. Wow. They don't want to let the price go up. Not yet. Maybe later on, but not yet. Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. That's really crazy. So also here limiting the way at 21, 20,320. Yeah, taking a look to that, I would say it would even make sense really to short that, but I'm really not going to trade that. Not because I hate money, just because I don't want, you know, I I have to spend the time front of the screen just in case off and I don't want. 25. And then a lot here. That's Kraken, by the way. Kraken spot 
waiting here to buy more they re removed all these walls for example bitmax bitmax also here 25 look that 27 26 and the biggest one 20 so 20 20 20 bitfinex derivatives only at 26 Kraken Futures, FTX Spot, only waiting yeah, at 17 and so on, and Binance Futures. And Binance Futures also indicating like FTX Perp. Look that. They don't want to let the price go up in my opinion. At least not yet. Or they need to push very hard. But taking into a look to that, at the moment at 22k limiting, that's it. Well, that's absolutely it. But the most interesting one is Binance Spot, in my opinion. That's really crazy. That's really crazy. Okay. Let us go forward to my personal conclusions.